Cincinnati's Verdon Bell Company took part in a very special ceremony today to honor a group of fallen Marines. The Marine Aviation Centennial Tower Bell was cast just a short time ago in front of some of the families of the lost Marines. Nine News reporter Janelle Walton was there for this very emotional ceremony. Janelle? Clyde and Carol, this is a portable bell casting machine that you see behind me, and they used copper and tin to actually make the bell right here in front of those family members. And for the first time, they also put the wings from seven fallen Marines inside. It was an honor for the families, but also hard for them to give up those wings that belong to those they lost. She did not want to do it initially. It's, it's just, just another no. piece of him that we're losing. Yeah. It is right. the hardest part. There were seven people on board the helicopter that was shot down five years ago in 2007 in Iraq. Two of the families were in the audience today to personally turn over their loved one's wings to be added to the bell casting. The bell casting is in commemoration of 100 years of marine aviation and it also honored the fallen in medical and casualty missions. Jennifer Harris's uncle and aunt and Jared Landacre's parents wiped tears from their eyes as a marine commander recounted how they lost their lives. Their families say the fact that all seven of their wings have been molded together into a bronze bell, a special because they all died together. Now you're looking here at the actual bell casting and it has to cool overnight and they're going to have a final ceremony tomorrow where the families can actually see the finished bell and family members say once they're able to touch it and, and feel it, it's really going to be a sense of honor for them. Clyde Carroll, 